Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In this class, I am going to teach about the database connectivity of Spring Boot application. In our last class, we saw uh, creating the tables, right? Uh, we have to create the annotation entity, a table name. We have to specify the table name over here with table annotation. We have to create the, all the columns, database column. We have to create the par parameter constructor and blank constructor, empty constructor. After that, we have to generate the get and set method. Okay. After that, we have to uh, generate the string. Okay. We have to generate the string. Right. So, in this class, I am going to generate the database. Right. How to connect with the database and tables. Right. So, here you can see your top left corner top right corner you can see the database here we have we have connect the database before that first we have to make sure you have to you must install the mysql connector sorry uh, mysql work patch okay you have to install this mysql work patch in your machine this is must right this is here where we have connected the database right so we need only the mysql database so we have to download the appropriate database so here, here here we are you can download mysql web page okay you have to download the mysql web page you go to the respective website and you have to download that right mysql work page you have to type where mysql work page what is the operating system we are using if you are using the windows you have to you will be able to download the windows version if you have installed the linux you have to install the uh, linux right linux version you can install it right Right. Now let's back to after install and uh, after install that you can see the MySQL work badge is open like this. Let's go to the database connectivity here the connection. Right. So here what you are going to do it is see in, in our resources you can see the application property here we have we have connected with the database. Right. So this is the port we have specified. I already explained. Okay. The same port we have to do it here if you are connect with this one manage the connection you go to the manage connection you can see here this is the local host don't worry about this is a local host here this is a local host this local host the ip address is this one this is the port where you are connected this is the port you have to make sure the port right so database is my school okay later on we are configure the database right so the use root is a username password is root right you have set as a root user, username here root password also while installing this uh, mysql web patch i have set as root right so that's the things we have to do right test connection successfully made the mysql connection right now close it now let's try go here go to the database the so database click on this is the database you have to create the one Click on this, not create your configure on data source. What's the data here? If you go to data source, there are several databases there. Okay, so we have MongoDB, MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, SQLite. You have to choose them the required one. Okay, here we need MySQL. Right, we need a MySQL function. Right, we have to select this. You can get this dialog box for configure the MySQL uh, database configuration. So here you have to specify the here this is must. So here this is the local host. This is your port. Okay, here this local host. I will be show you again. It's, it will be easy here. Host name, port, root is a username. Password is one two three. I will be show you here. Root is a username. Root. It asks into the password, it's a root, then only the MySQL web page is connected, right? So after that, what you are going to do is here we are, you have to database name. What's the database name you have to give here? What's the database name? It's a school. It's a database name. School. That's it. That's the thing you have to do. This is the uh, connection, right? Now let's test the connection. Uh, download and download the driver and install it. Yeah, what's up with yeah. 
right my sql connector right it's no problem it update right it's okay right now it's checking the text test connectivity whether it succeed or not right no problem it's accept connectivity right here if you get the message that succeed you perfectly your database will be connected right if you get this success message if there is any error it's not connected right now if you click apply and okay that's it that's the thing you have to do it now you will be able to see here this is a console application you have to, you have to, you have to see the console if you, if you have to got it right right you will be able to see here right here this is your database my school my uh, 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 school right here, here you can see here this is school, schools a database right now let's run and check whether the how the table creation is done so let's run it we already done the stuff so far okay now let's run it click here This is the needful stuff that you will be doing step by step. This is very important stuff. While creating the database and all the stuff, this is very essential stuff in order to do the rural things. Right? Please make it. Let me see. There is error. It will be showing. Here, this is ping. It's configuring. here you can see the table all the tables are created here you can see here create table employee employee id here you will be able to not null here so all the things are here it will be creating contact number json here this that's why i show you this are we are creating the all the table stuff as you see all the tables creations are creating right now let's expand it connect to the database here all the things are configuring here this is your database which is a school we expand the database here it will be creating your employee table now you can see the primary key here all things are configured now if you run and check the query right so let's go to the console this is a console we have to open the console new query console use which is a table use database which is a database school run it right connected okay, it's connected it's working now let's see you can see here database select all from employee at the moment there is no records if you execute that here, here it's execution at the moment there is here so all the column will be you can see here so all the column will be created you can see here employee day active state here all the column will be created that's why i show you this is how we have created the tables okay now you have a good understand good enough to understand how to create the database how to create the tables in spring book thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime if you love my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.